All right. We're back, everybody. News talk. Oh, you're back. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we came like we were asked to. Is something wrong? You're not in your usual cheerful self. You see, Elliot? We found out where Fiona Craig is. Elliot's sister? I did know that you'd lost contact with her. Where is she, then? We got some information from Keldic about that, actually. Yesterday, she was moved by train from Heimdall to the Twin Dragons Bridge. Against her will, that is. Can't be. She's been taken hostage? It certainly seems that way. I imagine they plan on using her to keep the 4th Armored Division at Gorelia under their thumb. No. Story they know that taking family members hostage is going too far. From what we understand, this was the Kreutzen Provincial Army acting alone. The Noble Alliance didn't give them the order to do so. They just went ahead and did it. I imagine it was done under similar circumstances to when those Jaegers were sent to Ymir, too. Then... This is likely an attempt by my father to take over leadership of the Noble Alliance. That hopeless fool. How terrible. But taking Fiona hostage isn't going to get Dad to surrender. No matter how much it hurts to do so, he'll always put his duties as a soldier over his own personal feelings. Which means, yeah, Fiona's life is in real danger. I say we take this matter into our own hands. Really? I agree completely. As do I. Yes, our country is at war, but nothing excuses doing something so cowardly. As his son, I have a duty to put an end to my father's foolishness. But you guys, you're set on intervening then? Remember, this means you're getting directly involved in a dispute between the Imperial Army and the Alliance. No, we're not. Our sole objective will be to rescue Fiona. We won't attack any more than necessary, nor will we work directly alongside the Imperial Army. I think we're pretty justified here. It's like when we stopped that jammer in Nord. It won't be the easiest operation to pull off, but that shouldn't stop us from trying. You guys mean it? Well, hey, if you guys know what you're doing, then I ain't gonna stop. Fiona's a friend of mine, too. And then the guild has this little thing we like to call code. And its first article states we're all about prioritizing the safety of civilians above all else. Nothing goes too far. That's, um, quite the code. Uh, one minute she's urging caution, the next she's egging everyone on. <laughs> I think that settles things. If that's your decision, we'll be right behind you. And I'll be happy to guarantee the, the legitimacy of your actions as well. Thank you, Your Highness. I really can't thank you all enough. Don't worry, Fiona. We'll be there as soon as we can. Alright, so let's turn these Questos in. Right. We're supposed to be able to report our completed tasks in bulk using this. <laughs> Good thing we learned how to use an orbital computer in class. Hmm? What was that? Oh, looks like you picked the perfect time to report. Go ahead and press the answer button below the screen. Oh, sure. Green baby, talk to me. It's all right. You can admit you just wanted to hear my voice. No lie. Prince Oliver? How are you? I thought you went to Western Erebonia. Oh, I did. I can't tell you exactly where I am now, but I've been on quite the journey since we parted. I'm transmitting this audio-visual signal from my current location. Really? Wow, I had no idea that it was possible to do that from so far away. <laughs> well, the standard system needs to be modified a bit for it to work. Anyway, let's get right down to checking that report of yours. Hmm. Interesting. Marvelous! You've ranked up! This is just a little something from me. I knew I could count on you. Anyway, keep sending in these reports whenever you're able. As long as you've got something to fill me in on, you can call whenever you like. Of course. Sorry for troubling you with this when you're clearly busy with matters over in the West, though. Well, I did give you that responsibility in the first place. There's 
no length I wouldn't go to for my beloved students. Still, even though that workaround lets me talk to you basically any time, I can't keep the connection up for too long. Uh, your Highness? Olivier, we need to get moving! We're heading to Parm for now! Be right there, my love. At any rate, it seems I must bid you adieu for now. Duty calls. May Adios be with you. And good luck out there. Oh. Things must be pretty difficult over there right now. Still, if he's going out of his way just to talk to you, it means he wants to, so don't feel guilty. You're the best way he can get the inside scoop on what's happening here too, so everyone wins. True enough. That's a good way of looking at it. We'll need to make sure we never let him down. So are you guys ready to talk specifics on the rescue mission? We won't have time for additional preparations once we start, so make sure you've done everything you need to. Let's do it. We're ready whenever you are. Okay then, let's start nailing down the specifics of the operation down in the conference room. Everyone involved gathered in the conference room and began discussing the best way to approach Fiona Craig's rescue. Eventually, it was decided that the attack would begin from the Twin Dragons Bridge west side, using Valimar to break through their rear side's defense. And while taking advantage of the confusion, a select team would then infiltrate the fortress and perform the actual rescue the next day. just received a new update on what's happening on the ground. The 4th Armored Division's main force has arrived in front of the Twin Dragons Bridge. Apparently, they're already locked in battle with the Provincial Army's Panzer Soldats. Personally, my mirror's on the 4th Armored Division. They have the advantage on paper, in any case. True, thanks to their anti-soldat tactics, which explains why Father chose to add a hostage into the equation. Well, we'll be jumping into the fray soon enough. Let's go over this one more time. Upon our arrival, Her Highness will issue a declaration. Then Valimar and I will descend to the bridge's western side. We'll take down the soldats on the gu the soldats on guard, and amidst the confusion, the assault team will be able to charge in and rescue field. That's about the size of it. I'm ready whenever you are. I'll back up the assault team while taking charge of communicating with the ship. And once you've done your part, Reen, I want you to join us. Understood. And don't forget, we're going to need to keep an eye out for the Jaegers hired by the provincial army too. True, we might even run into Zeno and Leo again. I can't say I'm not nervous, but I'll do my best as part of the assault team. It's my sister we're going to save. I want to be right there on the front lines. Those of us not on the assault team should go inside and act as diversion and serve service guards. We're all going to need to work together. Failure isn't an option. I'm down. Nothing can stop us. Okay, you guys all set? Yep. None of us have any doubt that this is the right thing to do. We will save Fiona, no matter what it takes. Well, no turning back now. Then may the operation begin. Positions, everyone. Set a course for the Twin Dragons Bridge in Northeast Kreutzen Province. Aye, aye, Captain. Full speed ahead. So we might run into Jaegers this time. I'm gonna need to be careful. Log. Same day at 12 o'clock. Near to the Twin Dragons Bridge. Curse show! 
Fourth Armor Division! We need to rebuild our formation! And quickly! Why do you roll your R's like some kind of fucking loser? Does your daughter's life mean nothing to you? Ugh. You filthy cowards! Sir, if we go any farther, she's... Men, stay focused! And as for you, Alliance fools, I suggest you don't underestimate Fiona. She's the proud daughter of a military officer. She knows exactly what that entails. Threats or no, she would never give in to your cowardice! S sir, but... Oh, you think we're bluffing, do you? Well, if that's how you want to do this... Stop these atrocities at once! What? Could it be? That's... It's the Crimson Wings! Soldiers of Kreutzen, you should be ashamed of yourselves! Taking the enemy's family as hostages and trying to use them as tools of war is simply unforgivable! As Princess of the Arnor family, I will not allow it! Y your Highness, we... Alright, let the operation begin. Here we go. Right. Let's go. We got older sisters to save. Alamars to use. Here come the soldats! Come on, Valimar! We'll open up everyone's path forward! Acknowledged. Use your links well.
guys can't stop me. I'm so good. It's working. Leave it to me. Let me. Leave it to me. Curse. Okay, one down. Leave it to me. Take this. It's not that bad. It's my turn. Bring it on. Let's go. Let's go, Reed. Dragon Blade, let's go. Leave it to me. Go. Dragon Blade. Leave it to me. Let me. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's working. Keep it up. Bring it on. Is that all? All right. Hello? All right. I'm working on it. Bring it up. It's my turn. Take this. Is that all? Just a little more. Don't you tell me what to do, please. Bring it up. Let's go. Got it. Yes. Great. All right. Just one more. Let me. You're not out yet. Keep going. Yes. That's it. Yes. You're not out yet. Keep going. That's it. 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 Nice work. Time to move in. Lead the way, Reen. Yes, instructor. <laughs> it looks as though they were able to make their way inside. Still, there's no harm in putting some insurance in place. Class 7 made their way inside the Twin Dragons Bridge. They quickly reached the heart of the base, leaving countless thoroughly confused guards in their wake. Great, we're in. Now we just have to find Fiona. Don't forget, we're racing against the clock in enemy territory. 
the area might not be as heavily guarded, but there's still likely plenty of soldiers in here. Stay alert. Yes, instructor. Let's do this. Let's go. This is going to take some time, so we're going to actually do this next time. <laughs> Telling everybody. 